Welcome to another video. Until I started solving this or looking at the solution for this problem, I thought it was going to be a difficult um, proof, but it was one of the easiest number theory proofs I've ever done, even on this channel, because it turned out to be very easy. But it was difficult for me to accept that if you take any integer n, whether positive or negative or zero, well, I know zero was okay, but any integer, and you divide it by six, and then you square it and divide by two, and then you cube it and divide by three, and you add all those answers together, what you will always get is also an integer. It's true. Let's get into the video. So a problem like this will be almost impossible if you try to isolate all the pieces. The best thing to do is to put everything together, get a single fraction, and something nice might show up. So what we're going to do is say that n over 6 plus n squared over 2 plus n cubed over 3 definitely can be rewritten if you take all the else all the denominators to be 6, so you multiply this by 3, multiply this by 3, it will be n over 6 plus. If you multiply this by 3, you're going to get 3n squared over 6. You multiply this by 2, the top all 2n cubed over 6. So now we have everything has a denominator of 6. So this becomes n plus 3n squared plus 2n cubed all over 6, which you can rearrange and put um, this one in front, 2n cubed plus 3n squared plus n over 6. Okay, the only way that this expression will give you an integer whenever you plug, whatever value of n you plug in, is if whatever n is, this is divisible by 6 without a remainder. So we just need to show that the top is divisible by 6. And we know the shortcut to that. It's either you go straight to 6 or you go, listen. If a number can be divided by 2 and also divided by 3, then the number is divisible by 6. So what I'm going to go with is... Tap, 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 tap. I'm going to do the whole even thing. I have a very nice way. I always like to do that. If n is an even number, then this is even because the square of an even number is even. And this is even because the number is even. So everything here is even and the sum of all even numbers is even. That's if n is even. But if n is odd, then this is even. But these two will be odd numbers. But the sum of two odd numbers is even. So it doesn't matter what you do, this is going to give you an even number. That's how I would work through it. Obviously, this is even, okay? There's an easier way to show that it's divisible by two. Okay. Want to show that two n cubed plus 3n squared plus n is even. Okay, I just want to show this. How do I show it? I'm going to try to factor this. If I factor this, I know, notice that 2, 2n cubed plus 3n squared plus n is equal to, what is this equal to? If I factor out n, is going to be 2n squared plus 3n plus 1. This, if you rewrite it, this is equal to what? n times, as if you're solving a quadratic equation, this can be factored into n plus 1 to n plus 1. So this is n plus 1 to n plus 1. 
Now, clearly I know it's even. How do I know? Because the product of two consecutive numbers is always even. <laughs> That's it. The product of two consecutive numbers is always even. So this implies even because of the product of two consecutive numbers. Product. Okay. So because of that, I got two consecutive numbers here. I know this number is even. So my next mission is to, sh is to show that the number is divisible by three. And once I'm done with that, I am good. Now, this is the manipulation that the professor actually shared, which I think is a smart one. There are other ways you can prove that it is divisible by three, but I want to use the one that I saw because ah, it is sweet. All you have to do is go back here. Now, want to show by three. How do you show that? Look at this guy that has three. This is what we're going to do. We're going to try to take advantage of this three by making this also three. So we're going to say 2n cubed plus 3n squared plus n will be the same thing as 3n cubed. We know it's 2n cubed, but we're going to subtract 1n cubed on the other side. So plus 3n squared, then minus n cubed plus 1. Look, sorry, plus n. So what I just did was I added n cubed to this, but I'm subtracting it again. So I haven't changed the total of the expression. So what do we have? This is the same thing as, what can we factor? We can factor 3n squared, 3n squared into n plus 1. What can we factor here? Minus n into n squared minus 1. Ta -ta -da -da, da -da -da -da. n squared minus 1 is actually a difference of two squares. So this is the same thing as 3n squared times n plus 1 minus what would this be? This is going to be n. Oh my. This if I didn't even need to show the evenness here. I could have gotten it from here. Okay. This is going to be n times. This is n minus 1 and n plus 1. Ooh. So it is n minus 1. Nice. Nice. This is going to be n minus 1 times n times n plus 1. The product of three consecutive numbers is always divisible by 3. The product of four consecutive numbers is divisible by 4. One of them has to be divisible by 4. Okay, I'm going to rearrange this now. So, this side is the product of three consecutive numbers, so this is divisible by three. This side obviously is divisible by three because there's a three here. We're done. This was enough to show evenness and oddness and divisibility by three. That's it. So, we can say this divisible by three. And this also divisible by 3 since it is the product of three consecutive integers. That's it. Yeah, that was roughly written. So because we have shown that the number that this is divisible by 2 and divisible by 3, then it is automatically divisible by 6. Therefore, where is it? n over 6 plus n squared over 2 plus n cubed over 3 is always divisible cha 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 Oh, this is what we should do, not box it. Leave a comment in the comment section. I know there are tons of ways of proving this, okay? But I wanted to do this because it looks sweet. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.